Hello viewers, I am Dr. Chalimala Srinivasra, Senior Ayurvedic Doctor, Panchakarma Specialist, Sardar Patel Nagar, Kukatpali. Today, I am here to discuss a, a most common and discomfort which we see in our regular practice called a gastric problem. 90% of people come with one or the other problem like gastric. I have a gases, I have a acidity, I have a pain in the chest. So that is what uh, the severity of this disease. So today we are going to discuss about that gas trouble. Generally it is called as gastritis. It's an inflammation of the stomach, the meaning of gastritis. So generally in Ayurveda, we deal, it comes under Amatva, where is the undigested food collected in your stomach, intestines, leads to gastric disturbances. What are the symptoms of gastric generally? There are a lot many things, but sometimes people get out of that. They don't think it's a gastric also. Sometimes it leads to a pain in the chest and the back of the pain, back of the chest, continuous belchings, burpings and bloated stomach and major complaint of uh, gastric problem is doctor i have a severe pain in the chest with lack of appetite Wh why what is the reason for this we when we see in ayurveda the pathology is whatever the food you take it will come to your food pipe and goes to into your stomach there the juices the bile juice and the liver releases the enzymes it gets digested there from your in stomach it enters into a small intestine and there the small intestine will take whatever the body is required and it is supplied all over the body which is required for our nourishment and the unused food which is not utilized by our body will come into a large intestine and this large intestine generally we call say in a lay language it's like a dustbin but the dustbin has to be cleaned once in a week once in a while but as because of the person who is a vata prakriti or because of the dryness of his body and the reasons maybe his lifestyle other food habits this large intestine will start collecting the waste there and that triggers states as a gases to upwards direction generally we believe the gases has to be relieved from downwards but people when they feel gastric disturbances they want to suppress it by taking some anti gastric anti medicines where it's only symptomatically they are downing that but ayurveda believes if we correct the whole System, uh, the process what I said from your digestion to the intestines the gases will be relieved and there won't be a chance of regurgitation because when this regurgitation happens your hydrochloric acid will be a, always in a burning and it will be always in the up, upper side only and patient mimics with sometimes with the heart pain also and with this of so much of huge uh, gastric release as acid re reflex sometimes the patient starts getting erosions also we call this the ulcers so here tre instead of treating the symptoms we need to correct the whole process where the food collected in the intestine uh, stomach enter into the large intestines small intestines should be properly evacuated and properly utilized here from your body and the reasons for this gastric disturbance and for all this is main i see is is the untimely food habits because as a person if we work continuously then only we are active similarly our body every six hours if your system if your stomach starts working then only all metabolism will go in a proper way how it works because if you take food then only your stomach starts releasing the juices if you don't take food at all that goes into your sluggish and that leads to a all gastric disturbances so first and the foremost what i advise is I have a timely food even it is a little amount but at least a three to four times even four to five times also in a little amount of food you need to take then only your digestive system will be properly it works and the next thing is nowadays what we have seen is the anxiety where we call the, we, the modern term has given the name also anxiety neurosis then the name itself indicates the person the moment the person start thinking about uh, takes any stress his acid his gastric irritation will be more and because of that he gets disturbed and he thinks he starts thinking like something is happening in me in him and again that leads to a mental stress so it's a it's a kind of a gastric irritation with your psychological thing irritates a lot and the name it's, itself is anxiety neurosis for this uh, generally we advise the person to be a positive attitude with a calmness and try to do a meditation and yes there is a definitely there are medicines which helps him a lot in that condition and ayurveda believes like all the rasas, like Madhura Amla Tikta rasas, etc. rasas to be taken every day so that your proper digestion will go in a proper way. And to in whom we'll see these gastric problems? At any age, we are seeing 
because of our food habits people nowadays tend to have a outside food we don't know what water we are taking and what are kind of food we are taking because of this food which is already adulterated or which is not properly cooked is going to collect in your system and that is after collection that acts as a toxins and one more thing we see is the people who are eating in the late nights as we see the digestion you if you have your dinner at early 7:30 8 o'clock you have a, a space of 6 uh, 4 to 6 hours for digestion but nowadays because of your lifestyle because of your jobs people are taking food at somewhere about 10 11 even night midnight biryani is also has come up imagine if a person at the time of digestion kala it's a it's called uh, digestion time is taking a food that too uh, oily food biryanis all other uh, foods and, and nowadays uh, even if you see in reception if you go any parties you start taking with the salads salad is really good but it is already open with a lot of uh, dust on it you start taking that and take a main course of biryanis and all these things and end up with the deserts like ice creams cool drinks whatever it is so imagine what is happening with your stomach at time of 10 10 30 you are taking such a food where normally it takes eight hours to get digestion but you are making that to clog in your intestines and all this is the reason for all other diseases because this clogged undigested food which accumulates in your joints will result in arthritis and which if it is enters into your bloodstream enters into your skin you see a number of skin diseases so my intention of saying is whatever the problem you are suffering the main reason could be this so we need to treat this to treat this as a doctor we definitely advise your medicines which normalizes your problem at the same time you need to follow the patya also like timely food will definitely proper food will definitely will take over this problem and no need to go for any antacids because they are only a symptom based if you are really suffering emergency in condition then only it will help you otherwise we need to find a proper root problem treatment and that can be done with the ayurveda and ayurveda we select the herbs like trifla churnam which not only dissolves the clogged food and there are some other medicines like sukumara kashayam and patyatrishadatrayadi kashayams also regular intake of this and there are therapies like panchakarma where we target the to cleanse the intestines like a basti virachana kriyas will definitely solve these problems if followed with all these things that's it i think uh, this information is if it's helpful for you if still you want to have any queries you can you may contact me my number is 765-890-9501